already have my foundation and concealer done. So next, I'm going straight to the eyebrows. From the photo references that I have, she has a very high arch eyebrows with rounded fronts and they're not extremely defined. I'm using this Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palette. Bagian depan tu macam bulat. Next, I'm taking this Maybelline, the Fit Me Concealer to conceal the eyebrow. Okay, kening dah siap. Nampak macam marah. <laughs> We're going straight to eyeshadow. I'm gonna prime my eyes using this NYX eyeshadow primer. For the eyeshadow, kalau boleh nampak, nampak ke? Tak tahu lah nampak ke tak. Dia macam faintly, dekat crease tu ada warna chocolate. And the crease is very rounded. And then all over the lid, dia macam warna cream, ivory macam tu. It's a very simple look. Tapi nampak jahat. Somehow. And I'm taking this contour colour from e.l.f. contour palette. Warna chocolate tu concentrate dekat outer corner je. So next I'm taking this dark brown colour from the Jacqueline Hill palette on a smaller brush and concentrate the colour out of me. I'm also taking a little bit of the eyeshadows that I put on the upper crease on the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking this cream palette shimmery eyeshadow and put it all over the lid. We're back. The lighting is different because it just rained suddenly and Sorry if you can't hear me really well. Yeah, it rained, it got dark all of a sudden. So, as the change in lighting, it's okay, we can still continue with our Dukun look because Diana Dahlan doesn't care whether it rains or it shines, she'll still slay like all the time, like slay. <laughs> So now we're done with the eyeshadow, I'm going in with this Master Precise Curvy Liner from Maybelline. From my observation, um, the thickness and the style of the eyeliner that Diana Dahlan wore throughout the movie differs according to the occasion, I, I guess. But the iconic look that she had on when she was wearing the red kebaya was with a tiny bit of wing. As you can see here, the, the line is pretty thick, but you can't really see the wing. So I guess this much is good. Next, I'm gonna put on some mascara and apply some lashes. Okay, now that I have the mascara on, I don't think I need any lashes because in the movie, um, I don't think she had any dramatic lashes on. I guess she had false lashes on but not the dramatic kind except when she was on stage so I guess this would do because I don't feel like putting on any lashes and making it extra glamorous now that we're done with the eyes we're moving on to the face from my observation Umi Aida as Diana Dahlan doesn't have she doesn't have much going on her face but she has a, quite prominent cheekbone and it looks very feminine it's like the rounded kind of cheekbone and I'm going to try and mimic that using contour once again I'm using this contour powder from e.l.f. cheekbone dia memang macam tinggi bukan macam lah memang tinggi well I'm at it I'm contouring my nose as well I'm not going to add any blush on because Diana Dahlan did not have much colour on her face so I don't think we need any Tak tahu kenapa look ni nampak baik instead of nampak mysterious <laughs> Lastly, to finish up the look of course we need the signature red lipstick Diana Dahlan had 
a really orange tone lipstick and I don't have that so I'm using this deep red rose and I'm gonna apply it on my lips thank you guys for watching if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you guys in my next video I love you bye mm -hmm.